These kinds of things keep on surfacing, in part because you and your TV station will promote them. You know, if, if I were a thin-skinned person, I might start getting angry about now. If I were particularly paranoid, I might be thinking, what does he mean by that now? If I were overly sensitive, I might be saying, enough is enough now. But I'm not sensitive, and I'm not paranoid, and look at me. Do I look remotely thin-skinned anything? Of course not. So it is a good thing I have a stiff upper lip and I'm not reaching for a stiff drink. Because if this were a drinking game and I took a shot every time the president took a shot at Fox, I would be A, drunk out of my mind, and B, delirious with power. I'd also be getting really cocky. I might start actually thinking I can single-handedly control a major health care law state. That I can personally call all my CEO friends and tell them to junk those health care plans or force millions of Americans out of their coverage because of the added cost of those plans. Why, I might start bragging I'm behind all these enrollment snafus and taking credit for personally hacking the system, not the hacks who actually made the system. And you know what? I might start insisting I warned you on this very show years ago that if you like your doctor, that doesn't mean you can keep your doctor, and that if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Now, never mind, I actually did say that. Would the president ever admit that? After all, that would assume I knew math and the president did not because he's the president and I am not. And that would be arrogant. And who would be so arrogant? But if I were so arrogant, why would I stop there? Why wouldn't I take a bow for an IRS that deliberately targeted conservatives rather than simply blame some boneheaded bureaucrats who had no agenda but to go after conservatives? Here all this time, I thought I was just reading a prompter for a living. Who knew? I wielded such power. Now I must confess, enough power to make a big deal out of four Americans killed in Benghazi and not let the President of the United States get away with never explaining what the hell happened in Benghazi. Who knew yours truly was truly a superhero? Well, all of you knew that all along. The President just confirmed it. And now, well, well, I guess I, I have to admit it. This unassuming, to some, chunky anchor is the linchpin for all that ails the most powerful man on earth. Me. Because the most powerful man on earth himself just said so. And right after this show, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to march off to my boss's office upstairs and let him know it. And let him have it. Because apparently I don't only report the news, I make the news, I am the news. It's like I leverage myself. So, boss, before you say, with your bad self, get this through your executive skull. I'm the financial factor. So start factoring in more dollar signs. Don't believe me? Take it from the President of the United States who told that other factor, who's apparently in the mess he's in because of me. That is power. So here's what I'm thinking, boss. All the chicken wings I want for life on my desk on FBN tonight. Roger that. You've got a few hours. I'd get the deep fryer and get uh, frying on that. If, if you want. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, it's just a suggestion. I mean, you are the boss. So. Got things to do. I guess we got to go, Nate. A lot more on this tonight.